tonight. Lawrence has a crash. Mark has a crash. And I have a crash. This is not going well. <laughs> Let's just run away. There we go. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Lawrence isn't very good at stealing cars. Um, I've got myself. What is this? This is a ruiner, I think. It's a bit. It's a bit wobbly because it's sort of. Well, because it's a ruiner and <laughs> yeah. Um, this is Manhunt Checkpoint. I am now on my way off to try and find the first checkpoint, and I've got a choice between taking Mirror Park South, which tends to be a bit of a pain in the wasp name, um, or I can head up to Origin. So I think what I'm going to do is head over towards the other side of the um, other side of the storm drain and head up the east coast, east side of it a little bit, and then cut back across towards Origin. At least that way. I mean. I can't, they're too far apart for me to seriously confuse the hunters as to which one I'm going for. But I think if I do that, then it'll give them at least, it'll at least keep them moving. And I think if they're moving around, if they're being forced to move around quite a bit, then it probably makes things a little bit harder for them. So I think that's what very worth doing. We are playing with the um, circle mode uh, in, in standards, in, the, in, in, in static mode, which is the normal one we seem to play in these days, which is where it stays still until I get to the edge of it. And then when I touch the edge of it, it jumps so that I'm still somewhere inside it, but randomly. So, so the hunt, if the hunters are watching it, they can tell when it jumps one way or another. They can tell roughly where I'm going, but not not precisely. And that's we found that's quite seems to be quite a good balance between giving them a decent amount of information, but also giving me a decent amount of a decent amount of a chance. We do also have the mode turned on where I can um, turn the circle off whenever I want to. Now I can't take, I think, I, I believe I can't take check, checkpoints when the circle's turned off. I'm certainly not allowed to. And the idea is it's, it's something that's supposed to basically, basically whenever there's a chase happening, the circle can be off. But once I've found, once I've escaped from the chase and I'm starting to think about approaching a checkpoint again, I need to turn it back on again. To get, to, again, to give the hunters a bit of a chance to, to, to find me, to know where I'm going and to make the game fair and sensible and so on. Um, so at the moment, the circle will be turned on. Um, so they will have an idea of where I am. They'll be sort of trying to close in on me. They don't know exactly where I am, of course, because the circle's quite big at the moment. It's covering a, a significant chunk of the city at the start of the game. But as I as I sort of carry on, the circle will get gradually smaller the more checkpoints I take, and also as time passes. The other thing we're doing is allowing the hunters to use any vehicle they find at the side of the road. So that's Tristan there on a bright purple motorbike, attacking my car. Um, so I think that means I'm now given away, so I'm going to try and get out of here. Now the problem is, he's on a motorbike, and GTA motorbikes are a little bit unrealistic in that they have extremely good handling. Um, which is going to make it rather tricky for me to get away from him, I expect. Um, however, he is still very, very vulnerable. So if he gets, if he, if he gets hit by anything, whether that's me or just random other traffic around, then he's going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to just try and run a little bit to start with. Now he's still behind me there, unsurprisingly, really. I mean, if he, if he'd. Um, if, you'd, if I'd lost him already, I'd be very, very surprised because I haven't done anything difficult yet. But I'm trying to get a bit of distance away from the other hunters. So let's turn the circle off. I'm supposed to get a pop-up, I think, when I do that. Um, let's try again. There we go. Circle disabled. Excellent. So now, he does. He knows where I am still because he's behind me. He's following me. Although he's dropped quite a long way back. So this seems like a good opportunity to try and do something cunning. Like maybe trying to go up here and then... Are there any alleyways around here that I can use? I can't see any. Oh! That is not the way to do it. That was a lot more solid than I was expecting. However, I do seem to have lost him, so that's quite good. Oop, there's a green mark. Um, there's a, um, I don't... I hope Mark didn't see me because he was going across where I went, so I think there's a reasonable chance I'm, I'm free and hidden. So... I think if I carry on a little bit, there are purple cars scattered all over the place in the middle of roads. It's ridiculous. Um, let's carry on a little bit further. Let's take let's take that. I think it's a sports car, so it's going to give me a bit of speed and a bit of a chance to do useful things. Um, hopefully, I am now, as I say, I am now free and escape the hunters. 
I've changed cards again, so there we go, let's turn the circle back on again. And I get the text at the bottom of the screen there to tell me um, where, the, where the checkpoints are. It's the same checkpoint, so I do know I did know where I was going. But the fact that the check text has reappeared tells me that I've managed to re-enable the circle properly, so that's good. Um, now, it's, it's quite tempting to pick up one of these purple cars that are lying around. Uh, that will immediately give me away if Tristan sees me, of course, but if the other ones see me, it might not. So, it, it's a thing I could try, but I think probably this um, Alpha is probably... I think this is quite a good choice, because it is a sports car, but it's... I want to say it's a slightly subtle one. It's not that subtle. I mean, look at the front of it. Um, but also... So, but... Um, it's not quite as ostentatious as some of the sports cars. It probably looks less like a sports car than that felon just over there that's um, parked next to me. However, I think most of the people playing are sufficiently familiar with the cars in this game that they're probably going to recognise it as, as a probably a sports car. So, yeah. Um, but I don't think that's a problem. I mean, it, I, I, I can drive sports cars now. We, we've, we've changed the uh, the rules because because I was struggling, because we tend to have quite a lot of hunters. We've got four today, which is a little bit low, but we, we're, hope, hope, we're hoping some more will turn up a bit later in the evening. Um, so, um, yeah, because... So, so yeah, where's my train of thought? Yeah, so because, there's, because we've got more hunters than we used to have, we've relaxed the rules a little bit and said I'm now allowed to take... Um, checkpointed sports cars. I have chosen to interpret that as meaning that whilst I can take checkpoints in sports cars, I'm not supposed to just hoon across the city in them because that feels unfair. I only use the sort of the speed and power and handling and stuff of a sports car if the if I'm actually in a chase. So for now, we'll just stick with this um, stick with this uh, what's it Alpha um, and just bimble gently across the city, obeying traffic laws, try not to speed too much. And trying to actually pull up in the right place behind the lines. Um, I don't see anyone behind me, so I'm going to creep a little bit further forward. Okay, so I'm nearly at the checkpoint. What I plan to do, oop, what I plan to do, is wait for the green light, obviously, and then t take the next left, and that will bring me down. I could do some shenanigans with the um, with the alleyways along here, but I don't want to, because alleyways are a bit of a. If I go into an alleyway, or if I'm seen going into or out of an alleyway. It's a bit of a giveaway that I'm a player, because AIs don't do that. So, come down here. There's the checkpoint. I saw an orange car there and went, ah, is that Mike? But no, it's definitely it's not Mike, because it, it was a Schwarzer, which he's not allowed to use because it's a sports car. And also, Mike hasn't actually joined the game yet. Um, he's running. He seems to be running late today, or possibly not going to be not here at all. Either way, um, he's not, not around, so I am... I don't need to panic when I see orange cars. That green car, on the other hand, is probably Pete. Yes, there's shooting happening. That's that's a good enough reason to panic. I'm out of here. <clears throat> and that's allowed me to blow the checkpoint as well, which is nice. So I can carry on down here at a decent speed. And then I should probably do something mildly evasive, like going into this tunnel. Because it gets me off the route I was taking before. And in fact, let's turn up here through the car park. And pop out here. I now have the 30 second wait before, I can, before I'm told where the next checkpoint is. So let's go across here and, and pull up at these red lights. I think that's probably quite safe. Now, Tristan did get a good look at me when he was um, pulled up next to me on the bike right at the start of the run. So there's a bit, of, a little bit of a worry about that um, because he's going to oops, green light. He's he's going to have worked. He's going to know what I look like. He's going to have told the other hunters. So they're going to be on the lookout for my character model, whatever whatever it is I'm dressed as at the moment. Um, woman in purplish top. Okay. So they're going to be on the lookout for that. So if they look into my car and see me, they're going to get very, very suspicious and start shooting. But in the meantime, let's just see how it goes. So now I have a choice between Five Ways and Hills Crossroads. Five Ways is a relative... Actually, they're both sort of easy in different ways. So Five Ways has five roads going up to it, hence the name. So that makes it a relatively easy one to take from that point of view. And also, it's a sort of a, it's an area where there tend to be quite a few pedestrians. I've um, just finished editing a video where I walked through the checkpoint there and I managed to pick it up without too much difficulty. Um, so this will give you an idea of how much of a buffer I've got when we when you see how, when, when we check out when these videos came out. Um, so it is possible to do that and it's also Quite, it's also, as I say, it's got lots of different ways to, to, to approach it from. And there's quite a lot of roads down there. Um, Hills Crossroads is sort of almost the opposite. 
it's got it has four roads obviously going up to it because it's a crossroads um but it's in the hills so the roads are a bit funnier and it's a bit less obvious where i'm coming from uh, sorry sorry it makes it a bit more more obvious where i'm coming from but it's a really really good one to take on foot because you can go through the gardens of the um of the nearby houses and get really close to it on foot without being seen at all however basically oh mark and uh, uh mark has just killed ed well done there uh, <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the retribution um, feature in the game, where if, if one hunter shoots another hunter, they both end up dying. Um, so what, where was I? Oh yeah, so um, so yeah, every t I think every time I've actually successfully taken Hills Crossroads, I've done it on foot. So I'm not going to do that this time because they're going to expect it. Um, so I'm going to try and drive up there and and take it in a sort of the more normal, civilised way and just drive through it in, in, my, in my car. And the hope is that because I've got a sports car, if we do get into a chase from there, I'll stand a decent chance of getting away. I, th I suspect the only vehicle that's going to be able to stand a chance of keeping up with me in a straight line is going to be a bike. Um, and if I can get a bike on its own, then in theory it's reasonably vulnerable and I can try and knock, probably Tristan, if we're being honest, off it and, um, and then make my escape. Let's say, let's see... This means I have to navigate the hills, which is always a bit of an adventure, um, because I don't know I don't know the hills well at all. Um, I've got a sort of vague idea of what the uh, what they're like, but not an accurate one at all. Um, however, this seems to be going about right. So let's come up here, um, and then maybe take that left turn at the end of this road instead of going up to the checkpoint, and to ha have a bit of a, a, a recce and see if we can work out where the hunters are, and whether it's is that one behind me. No. Okay, I don't see any of them, so I'm going to carry on up the hill. And try and do a right I turn, I guess. So that's the checkpoint taken. Explode. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't see any hunters at all. That's perfect. That's how we like it. Let's get a little overtake that car and carry on up here a bit. There's nobody following me. Excellent. Now I need to somehow find my way back down into the city, because I'm practically up at the reservoir here, which is not what I want. Um, but we can. But it doesn't matter, though, from the point of view of the game. I mean, I'm going to be forced back into the city, because that's where all the checkpoints are. And the hunters know where I am anyway, so there's no actual harm. If I, if I wanted to, I could run off to Polito Bay. It wouldn't do me any good. Life Invader and Pier Entrance. Okay, I'm going the wrong way for that. Let's turn around, then. Ooh. Um, yeah, I could, if I wanted to, I could drive all the way to Polito Bay. The hunters wouldn't care. They'd still be able to track me. They'd probably be able to track me more easily because there's fewer roads out that way. It's, they're a bit, a little bit sparser. Uh, so they wouldn't have any trouble. They wouldn't have, they what is going on with the traffic here? Um, yeah, they'd be able to track me without too much difficulty and probably, f and, and have a better chance of working out which car was me if they did get close to me as well. So it's not in my interest to do that. I'm going to try and get back into the city pretty much as soon as I can. Although I am just going to, I'm going to follow this road up around here. I could take the off-road bit there and go back in, and drop down the hill there, but I, I have this feeling that trying to go down hills like that just doesn't tend to go very well for me. Um, the chances are I'll, I'll end up rolling my car or ending up, end up. If I'm really unlucky, I'll end up flipping it and landing on my roof and exploding. Um, if I'm only mildly unlucky, or if I'm you know, so if I'm lucky, then I'll just scratch the car up a bit, and then it'll be fairly obvious to the hunters. So far, it's it's pretty much pristine. In fact, it is pristine. Not no thanks to all of these cars that seem to be just randomly pulling across the road into my way. I don't know what's going on with all of this. It's they're not supposed to do that. Uh, where am I? I mean, I'm I'm obviously I'm out in the sticks. I'm completely miles away from where I want to be. I guess I probably actually if I keep going this way. Yeah. No, I'm a bit too far out out of the city. I think I do want to head back down down a little bit because this is a bit crazy. But I will go to the right here because both of the um, checkpoints I can take are off this way. So Life Invader and Pier Entrance. Life Invader again has quite good access, so it's it's relatively easy to get up to it. Um, but it's also quite open and exposed. I think I often get noticed when I'm trying to take that one. Um, Pier Pier Entrance is on a major road, so it's fairly easy to drive towards, through, past it, and so on. So, that might be a sensible way to go. That's Tristan shooting at me, I don't like that. But, um, I think he was setting an ambush, which, is, which I'm quite proud of him for doing. Um, 
but it didn't go quite as he intended, I don't think. Um, I think he got run over by the first car he scared, and now I'm pretending to be a scared AI. I've got a couple of um, bullet holes in my windscreen, though, so I think a car changes in order. Uh, what's that? No, not that one. I want something a bit better than that. Something Definitely something better than that. Um, I don't know whether Tristan's going to have reported that as definitely me. There was Mark going in the opposite direction. Okay. Um... So, yes, Tristan was correct in the car he was shooting at. Um, well done there. But his accuracy was a little bit off, which is unusual. He's usually quite um, good at sniping me when I'm trying to escape. So, I need a new car because this one has bullet holes in the windscreen. I don't want a truck because that's just going to get me killed. Um, what's this? Oh, that'll do. I think. Pretty sure it's a sports. Come here. Give me a car. There we go. Yes, Serrano is a sports car. Excellent. Just what I need. So, right, let's head over. Let's try and take the pier entrance then. Um, so, let's see, I'm by the university now. If I come to the end of here, turn left, that brings me back down into the city. And then, um, this drops down by golf course. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with the. Um, the map knowledge from here. Uh, let's pull out over this way. Um, okay, so I'm about halfway between the two of them here. That's interesting. Now, one thing I kind of fancy doing is trying to take pier entrance from the pier. I don't know how easy that's going to be to do, though, but it's an interesting enough idea that I'm sort of tempted to try. Uh, let's do the right turn on red thing here. There we go. Um, I think they've seen me a bit too much, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious about trying to take the pier on on foot. Trying a bit cautious about doing anything on foot, because I think once they've seen me, if they recognise me, if they recognise me when I'm on foot, I'm as good as dead. Oh, there's Mark. I think behind me, a green car. That might have been Tristan. Yeah, that was probably almost certainly Tristan, because AI don't run red lights like that. Okay, so he's heading over to pier entrance, which is sensible. He didn't recognise my hairstyle from the back, which is nice. There's a nice big sort of rear on this car so it gives me a little bit of cover I guess uh, where's the where's the road here oh here it is okay so it's going to be pretty obvious I'm going for pier entrance now because well because that's where the circle's going to be but hopefully oh, Tristan's probably going to be doing the, um, the sitting there with, a, with his gun out thing again uh, maybe I should approach it from a slightly more subtle direction oh no there he is again hooning around like a loon um, <clears throat> I hear shooting in the distance. It's not close enough for me to panic. Um, or rather, not close enough for me to imitate a panicking AI. Um, but the fact that they're shooting makes me think maybe they're not quite as sure of my um, character model as I thought they might be. So maybe I can get away with just doing a straight straight on approach. I'm looking in the distance. I'm trying to see if Tristan is setting up an ambush for me again. Because if he is, then I need to um, not approach quite like this. Because that would be dangerous. But if he isn't then I might be able to just go straight for the checkpoint. Because, I mean, it's there, right in front of me. It's a really obvious, really easy one to get. But I don't want to do anything too stupid that will give me away and get me shot. Because I don't like being shot. Okay, Mark is the... Oh, that's green light. It's just what I need. S sneak around this truck. Sneak through his gap here. I'm getting out of here because I... Yes, there we go. I, I, I thought I probably was, was spotted. I, I, I think... It's hard to say whether that was my... Whether that was me giving myself away that got me spotted. Or whether they were, would already have been suspicious of me. Because I felt like... I felt like I was quite suspicious driving up to it. And then... Then obviously I, I took the checkpoint, which is a pretty suspicious move in and of itself. Oh, don't get caught. Don't get stuck on the cars! Grr. Right. Um, okay, this corner is difficult. We have, Everyone always gets caught on these sticky out bits of wall here, but now I seem to have made it in. And there is still a purple bike behind me, okay. Um, what's the best way to deal with a purple bike? Now, it's possible if I... I might be able to, if, if I do, if I jam on the brakes at exactly the right time, he might go hurtling into the back of me. Oop, there's, there's Mark going the other way. Let's not go that way then, if there's a Mark. 
Um, but that requires him to be right behind me, and I think he's probably got the sense not to do that. I should probably turn the circle off, uh, to be honest, because they'll um, they'll be using that to track me. But although at the moment, it kind of doesn't matter because they th there's there's one of them behind me, so they know exact. Well, one of them knows exactly where I am. The rest of them are going to be being given information by him. So I'm going to concentrate on driving instead for a moment. Is there a way through here? I hope there is. If there isn't a way through here, I might be in trouble. Oh, goodness sake. There is a way through. Right. <laughs> that was terrible driving. And, of course, Tristan is now right behind me again. Okay. Oh, and there's Mark as well. Um, let's go this way. That's this, this seems like a good way to go. Mark seems to have slowed down and tangled up a bit. Now, there's two of them behind me now. That could be quite good for me. Um, because there's a chance that Mark, Mark might accidentally wipe Tristan out. And if he does that, then I'm going to be in quite a good place. Now, I'm trying not to just get onto a highway and put my foot down, because that feels a bit cheesy, given that I'm in a sports car. So I'm going to try and give them a little bit of a chance. And I can still see Mark's headlights behind me. Although I have to admit, I am put, was putting my foot down along there, because, well, it was a way I could go. It seemed like a good idea. Uh, that was a bad landing. Let's go this way. And let's turn the circle off. I said, let's turn the circle off. There we go. Okay, it's a slight press and hold, it seems, to turn it off then. Um, that's interesting. The text at the bottom hasn't disappeared. I thought that was... I thought that it did, but apparently not. Okay. Am I... Am I free? That's the question. Because there's lots of cars here, and if, if I am, then this might be quite a good place to change. Nope, not free. <laughs> I hoped, but no. <laughs> I thought I might have got away, but I, I don't know. I may, maybe I had, but I was visible from the road. I, I don't really know. I'm not. Or maybe, maybe yeah, maybe the, maybe the visibly damaged car could be could be seen from wherever uh, Mark pulled up. Um, ah well. There we go. I've easily got the speed to get away coming along here. Now, but now I need to find another car because this one is burnt on on two fronts. One because they've they've very much seen it at this point. But also because um, oh the text has disappeared. It must just be on. It must just have a slight delay there. Uh, yeah, so it's very much burned because well they've seen it, and also because it's um, now somewhat battered. Now I think I've driven rather close to the next checkpoint, which is um, a little bit cheeky. Am I safe? Am I safe? Yes, I am really really close to the next checkpoint. So I'm not going to take it from here because that feels like cheating. Um, <clears throat> The turning the circle off thing is fine. It's a thing I can do, but I'm not. I'm not allowed to use it to give myself a. Uh, to give myself. A, it's t for use for getting away from chases, not for taking checkpoints. That's basically that's basically the point of it. So if I head over this way now, get myself way outside. Oh, well that was that was dumb. Uh, now I need another another car. Ah, oh, fail. You think when I wasn't being chased or anything, I'd be able to actually drive properly and sensibly? And all right, let's let's take a um, let's take a muscle car um, because they won't expect it because I've been using sports cars exclusively until now, and sports cars obviously are better. Um, however, we also there is another rule that's been implemented recently, and that says that if the um, if the prey is in, or if, if if a player gets into a car that is worse than a coupe, so that's muscle cars, sedans, SUVs, trucks, anything like that, then they get bulletproof tyres to go with their car. So that means even though I'm in a worse car than they are, or probably in a worse car than most of them probably are in at least, um, if they get out and start shooting at me, my tyres are going to be safe, which is nice, because one of their favourite tactics for catching me is to shoot my tyres out, so I can't drive properly. Um, also, I drive even worse than normal, rather, and then um, and then it's a lot easier for them to get me. Now, Mark is acting very, very suspicious. I think he's done the "I've identified your character" model thing. Is he wearing a face mask? I mean, I suppose we are still in uh, COVID times, so maybe that's a good thing. Yep, I'm out of here. So he's probably going to start shooting. Or he's going to get back in his car and chase me. I think he's doing the getting back in his car and chasing me. Perhaps because he knows that my tyres are bulletproof and therefore it's not worth it. Okay, so my my approach to that um, 
checkpoint didn't go quite as I was hoping. And the, the intention, obviously, was that I would um, get up to the checkpoint and then be able to and just, just be able to wander straight through it. Great. That would, that would have been nice. But, um, ooh, slidey. Um, but that was not to be because, um, yeah, the, uh, I, I got spotted. So, okay, the Phoenix... Ha Interesting, Tristan's bike is not as fast as I was expecting it to be. Bikes are normally really, really quick. So, I was expecting to ha really struggle to get away from him. But maybe he's not got a particularly quick bike. Or maybe the, maybe the, the raw V8 power of the Phoenix is just enough to uh, get me away from him in a straight line. There's no way I'd be able to do anything useful in, these, in all of these corners, of course. Because... Um, it's a muscle car. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They don't do. They don't do well with corners. Uh, where can where can, where can I put it? I need to. I need to put this car somewhere and swap it for something else. What if I go in here? This looks like a nice place. Yes, this seems to have been an almost perfect castle. I mean, granted, I've I've got broken window now, which is not ideal. Um. Oh, and I can't drive. Reversing, reversing in GTA seems to be surprisingly dif difficult. Still, the car's mostly unscathed, so that's not too bad. Okay, so Ghetto Church or Golf Course? Well, I was obviously going for Ghetto Church just then because it was because it was nice and close and easy. It seemed like a good one to go for. Um, however, I'm now. Probably about halfway between the two. I think I'm still going to head back down to Ghetto because I th I feel like they might not expect me to. I don't really know. Um, I don't I, I, I don't know. The psychology of this is difficult. And also, if there's there's a lot. I feel like there's more roads around in Ghetto. I'm going to run this red light. I feel like there's more roads all over the place in Ghetto, so it might be slightly easier to take it down there. I don't know how true that is. But also, I think I need to drive slightly more aggressively at this point because they have identified my character model, and therefore, if I if I do if I stop at all the red lights, I mean, sure, stopping at a red light means you don't get looked at quite so much immediately. But if they then come over and have a look at the car because it's stopped and there's loads of cars around, or just because they're suspicious of that general area because they know there's a prey around trying to take checkpoints, then you can potentially be in quite a lot of trouble. So. I think I'm going to play a bit more, drive a bit more aggressively, not worry so much about um, traffic laws, and just try and get the checkpoint as quickly as I reasonably can. I do often find that playing slightly more aggressively tends to work very well in my favour. Um, I don't know whether it's because I'm normally a bit too passive and don't run well, don't run quickly enough when I get spotted, or whether it's just because that. Um, because if you if you keep the pressure on, they struggle to um, to respond and get into get to places quickly enough and so on. Um, I mean, I wasn't hooning absolutely hooning across the city there. I was driving at a sensible speed, but not stopping for red lights. So I don't feel I don't feel like I was there was any sort of unfairness there. Just that they just that I was going a bit faster and therefore it made it a bit easier for me to get the uh, checkpoint. Now. This car does have a broken window, which is unfortunate, and I believe I have a recognised face, which is also very un uh, unfortunate. Um, but I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly there though. I've got most of the checkpoints, so this is going pretty well. Um, <clears throat> now I need to get so airport, airport spaghetti is, airport spaghetti is sort of a, f a favourite in inverted commas because it's a very very easy one to take. There are about, there are uh, lots of different heights on the spaghetti you can go through and, and, and take the checkpoint from any of them so you can um, because of the way the junctions put together so that makes it a very very easy one and that makes me feel it's slightly unf what am I doing here slight unfair isn't right but it's, it's, it's an easy one so I want to go for the slightly harder one for the, fin for the grand finale so I'm going to try and get over to oil fields which is off this way if for some reason I decide I don't like oil fields I can try fleeing across the massive bridge that goes over towards the airport and from there, I can get the airport spaghetti without too much difficulty. So, from here, I feel like I'm in a good place to go and take either of them. Um, I'm going to go for oil fields first, and then see how it goes. Hopefully they won't notice my face. Hopefully they won't notice my broken window. Hopefully they won't notice that a, a coupe is a little bit out of out of place in the oil fields area, because it's slightly more industrial. Uh, the tent cars are over there tend to be sedans rather than coupes. There goes Pete. 
The way he stopped next to me there does not fill me with confidence. Definitely doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, this is probably where hundreds and hundreds of other hunters are coming are coming in to try and attack me. So let's go this way, because I think that's what the road markings are telling me to do. I'm driving quite sedately, but Pete is still following me. I think that makes this a chase. I'm not going to hang around. Where does this road go? I have no idea where this goes, so so that probably means nor does he. Oh, is it a, oh it would be a dead end. <laughs> um, oh, I'm having issues. There we go. Back out again. Let's go back the way I just came. He's shooting at me. Hopefully I'm a difficult enough target at this point. Ooh. That's some good direction giving there from Pete. Well done. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed that Mark managed to come in and find me when I was doing all kinds of dubious off-road stuff like that in an area that, well, I've no idea where that was. So. Oh, no, he's following me. He's followed me into the storm drain. Okay. So now I'm in a much more describable area. The storm drain is a... Um, ooh, wow. A really obvious uh, landmark. So I've got both 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 the greens on me now, which is mm, not ideal. I mean, I I'm not going to say which colour I prefer to have because I don't think it makes a lot of difference. But there are two hunters behind me, so I don't want to stay up here for too long because I'll probably end up going somewhere. Unfortunately, oh, I did, that was a bad move. I don't want to go up there because that will just end in tears. Where are you going, Mark? Okay. Up. <laughs> Uh, right. Back up here then. Let's go back the way I just came. Back where I just came from, um, because that was going <laughs> was going fairly well. Uh, let's turn the circle off again, because I'm in a chase, and that's what it's, that's the whole point of this. And that means that now the hunters have to try and keep me in sight. Um, they can't rely on the circle's movement to try and to track me. Oh, that was Tristan. There's an in an ambush. I didn't realise. I thought the bullets were coming from behind me, which is why I did the duke that I did. Um, but it turns out actually they were coming from in front. If I'd realised that a tiny bit sooner, I would have aimed to try and run him over. But I didn't quickly. I didn't do it. I didn't spot him quickly enough. Um, okay, I don't see anyone behind me now, which is nice. But I also don't really know where I am. I'm obviously I'm on the railway lines, but I don't know where. I don't really know where the railway lines go. But I do think I need to get back on the road. Turn my lights back on so I look slightly more innocent. Granted, I don't have a bonnet, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but I think it's a, oh, it's a parked car. I don't really want a parked car because I'll have to smash the windscreen window again to get in it. Damn it! I thought that I thought that was a queue of cars waiting to go across the junction, but no. Okay, so I'm now back in a car, looking somewhat innocent. Let's try and get another car change. Not into that though. That's too too poor a vehicle. This one will do. That's another ruiner, isn't it? So let's take that. Yes, the ruiner is a, the ruiner is an acceptable vehicle. I'm, I'm I'm happy to use that. And now I can turn the turn the map back on, uh, circle back on again for the hunters. Let's pull a quick U-turn here. Now, like, now I'm in exactly the same position I was in <clears throat> not uh, not very long ago, where I'm trying to decide where I'm, I'm going. I'm going to try and approach the oil field once again. Um, see if I can take that without the hunter spotting me. I'm back to my. Uh, old car, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we'll see if this, see if I get away with this. Right, so I am really, really close to the checkpoint at this point, so fingers crossed it's not going to be too hard to take. Um, I'm not in the ideal car for a getaway though, unfortunately. There goes Tristan, at high speed, so he, to say he probably didn't spot me, no, he clearly did. Okay. We're gonna we're doing this again then, are we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, yeah, okay. I I could have I could have done things like I could have got on the freeway and made a bid for the um for the airport uh, spaghetti checkpoint, um, as I seem to be sort of doing now. I'm not going to. I'm going to go into duck into oil fields. Um, ooh, if I can without driving into anything unfortunate. Um, I'm hoping this is sufficiently weird and tangled that I'll be able to get away. I mean, there's, there's Tristan. Tristan's still behind me. That's fine. I just need to 
him to not be there for too long. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, he's yeah. This 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 act. Unfortunately, this is sort of the ideal terrain for the uh, for the motorbike, and not ideal terrain for the uh, for the muscle car. Okay, I made him go into the back of me, but that hasn't actually helped. He didn't go into the back of me hard enough. That's a shame. If I go up here, that gets me onto the ooh, onto the road, more or less. Swing the car around. <laughs> um, be slightly interrupted by Mark. Fine. Um, and now let's try and just follow, follow. If I follow this road at speed, then no, he's still right there behind me. Uh, the Ruiner doesn't have quite the power of what was it? Was, it, was I in a Phoenix before? I can't remember now. But there was <laughs> the very. I can't. Problem is, if I jam on the brake so he goes past me, then I don't have enough speed left to try and knock him off his bike. Um, so it's tricky, <laughs> basically. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a tree. That's quite a good roll, though. Well done there. Duck, 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 duck. Tristan shooting at me. Ah. Uh, now, I do have the bulletproof tyres. I no longer have Brit tail lights, but I do have bulletproof tyres, which helps quite a lot in this, um, <laughs> because it means my car is, no, is now not disabled. Um, where are they? There's there's Mark coming over the hill. Can I hide a car in a tree? No. <laughs> All right. It was. I didn't think it was going to work. Oh, damn it! That was stupid. Why did I stop there? <sighs> so close. I'm back. Yes, he's back. Uh, uh, and we are allowed to use uh, pistols? Regular pistols? You're allowed to use any weapon you've got. So, yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. Go kill the uh, policeman down at the airport, get machine gun. <laughs> Tristan said it was fine. I might have him. Okay, where are you? Heading north through industrial. Yep, going onto the highway. Uh, the east west highway. I don't know which way this is going to be going. We're looping around onto it. Okay. Uh, I think this is going to be heading east. Once we seen you. Yes. He got spooked, and that's how I saw him. Found him. Heading east now. Uh, sorry, west now. He's he turned around after joining him on the east-west highway. He's in a muscle car, which appears to be faster than this bike. Uh, past the jump. Uh, coming off uh, north side of ghetto, uh, just after the jump. Uh, turning north towards Square of Squares, it's a grey uh, ruiner. Southwest corner of Square of Squares, heading north. Northwest corner of Square of Squares, still heading north. No, that's not. Oh, he's turned off the circle, right. Ah. Uh, turning left towards Shopping Centre, I'm dropping behind. I think he probably turned north at the next junction. I went south and I can't see him. So, There's a dark grey ruiner here. Like, yeah, he would have changed, right? Yeah. There's also male character model in that one. He's getting out. He's pissed with you. I think. I don't have a oh. thing though. A marker. This could be him. Uh, no. He would have booked it. Yeah. What the hell? Did he just He's go not marching backwards on your like.
don't know I still haven't hit him yet. <laughs> oh, he's got sandwiched by cars. <laughs> taking it? Oh, he's taking it. So he just went past. Yeah. I'm Use a gunshot as. Yeah. Yeah. Sneaky, what's name? No, it wasn't him. Circle jumped northwest. Yeah, uh, could be a red car heading west uh, from that area, but I've shot at it and I missed the driver uh, down towards the university. But I've lost sight of it now because I wasn't on my bike. A red one? Yes. Yes, I found him. Heading south. Uh, I had to turn around. I lost him. Heading south from the checkpoint. Uh, black convertible. Okay. Heading east uh, past the. Uh, past going along south of the highway. Uh, just heading east towards Red Car Park. He's hit something. Uh, Shortish brown hair woman. Uh, sort of. Slightly pinkish top. Heading through the tunnel just north of Red Car Park ish. By the T junction on the highways. Going through into Blue Car Park now. Uh, Mark, Mark, you just went past. Uh, turn around and then turn south past the construction site. Uh, Approaching heliport. Gone off road by heliport. Uh, turning left under the bridge by the storm drain. Going over the, the jump thing there. And uh, basically going straight and back to. You in the storm drain or? No. I uh, didn't see where we were. Oh. Uh, I think we were going into ghetto now. Uh, approaching arena, I think now. Yes, Mark, to your left there. That car going past. That one to your right now, on the pavement. Yeah, the one in front of you. In front of you. Uh, approaching heliport again. From the south. I lost sight. Turned left. Thank you. Uh, approaching. Airport spaghetti is up. Yep. Oh. Towards arena. Which level? Uh, the main uh, highway. So, uh, yeah. east. Uh, he took a jump right. Uh, the the airport car park jump thing. Is he going towards into airport. the car park? Or... Uh, no, towards airport. Right. Double back.
driving northwest. Come staying on. on the road. Just going round airport. Uh, yes, onto the park. Oh. Parking space here somewhere. Lost him here. Don't see him. I don't see him, I'm just Ready. driving around. Car got that. stuck. Black convertible. Woman with short brown hair. Not really short. But, uh, and a slightly pinkish top. I think I have him. Right. Uh, like in a muscle car, black muscle car heading north. Um. Yep, I see. Somewhere I get him. Uh, crossing the rails now. Heading northwest, passing the hospital. Uh, heading north out of ghetto. Uh, by the highway junction. I need a faster bike. Or a car uh, maybe? Pass, passing uh, Square Squares on the west side. Uh, yeah. I'm slowly losing him. Just heading nor due north. Yeah, I see you ahead. Still going north and turned left. Uh, the one after the shopping centre would be. I think that might be him, but I'm not sure. Turn north here. No. No, oh, he's heading south. Um, past Arcadius. I lost him though. What was he driving? Muscle Black car. muscle car. Okay. Got someone matching the carriage model, I think, um, at traffic lights by industrial. Could you be more specific? Uh, <laughs> I don't quite know where I am. Um, we're heading over uh, just before the bridge over the um, storm drain, I believe. Heading more towards Murray Park now, north, in a white coupe -y type thing. Yep, that fits with a circle. Yeah, we're taking a right. Yeah, he's he's seeing me. He's diving off now. We are under the highway spaghetti. Uh, he's taking a jump into rail yard. Kinda messed it up. No, no, he hasn't. He's double back. What car was it? A white coupe thing. Was that you shooting? Yes, it was. Got him. I hit him, he crashed, we're just under the... Uh, he's heading down uh, into Storm Drain, I think? Yep. Yeah. Turning like right north. heading north down Storm Drain. Yep. Uh, he's going off right here. He Price. crashed. We're in a rail yard. Heading down the railway tracks towards Mirror Park. Yeah. East side of uh, Sombrain. 
I think he, yeah, he's considering jumping the soldier, I think. Ah. Uh, rolled it. He's doubling, doubling back. back. Yeah. Try to block him. Block him again. He's heading south. In the storm drain. Onto the railway. On the railway tracks again. Okay. Back towards rail yard. Several circle, because of course he has. Uh, continue to rail yard. Is he on the line still? Yep. Yep. Heading south. Uh, he's just come off now. Ah, you rolled into me. Alright. <laughs> Where's my bike gone? I was very carefully trying to get around you. <laughs> I'm going back to the road, let me know where he is. Uh, still following the railway tracks. Okay. Heading east. East? Uh, we're kind of south now, we're going around a bend. Where's he gone? I think he's come off onto the highway. I might yeah, be wrong. Probably. Like a, like a circle, there's no way to off. tell. Yeah. yeah. I'll say, yeah, if just turn this off during a chase is impossible. It's kind of the point is you can't use a circle during a chase. Found him. Uh, oh, sorry. Heading south on, onto the highway, maybe. We'll see in a moment. Yes, going onto the highway, south. Circle's about to move. There we go. South edge of the circle. He's he's going to move it again. We're hurtling along the highway towards a big bridge. Turn the circle off. Uh, he's, he's come off left shortly before the bridge. Not hugely far, though. So we're in the the actual oil fields themselves. Uh, the furthest out dirt road, so it's the second from the outside in the southeast corner. Right. Uh, I'm in the middle dirt road. I'm right behind him. He's not. In this terrain, he's not losing me. He tried to brake check me. Despicable. Oh, uh, Still on the further south dirt road. On, he's now onto the non-dirt road, the tarmac one. Uh, right. Still heading anti-clockwise. Yes, here we go. Mark. The outer loop road. Nicely done, Mark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fully intentional, of course. Of course. Well, I mean, you landed on him. Yeah. Uh, still going around that, anti-clockwise. Uh... Oh, this is. Oh, he's coming off to the left, uh, down onto dirt roads again. Jeez. How am I supposed to guide people here? Uh, 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 down onto the, the road due north of the uh, checkpoint. Yeah, that leads east oh, out of the checkpoint. I'm off, Mark. Mark. Chasing him up. Okay, yes. Uh, do you see him? I don't have. No, I don't have eyes, but I hope I will after. Here, down, down this way. Yeah. yeah. Where are you? There. Never mind. Nice one. After all my missed shots before that. <laughs> oh, now I feel stupid. I thought, I know, if I stay still, the car's quite a dark colour, maybe I can sort of put it behind this tree and they won't see me. And that clearly didn't work. No. <laughs> yeah, pro most likely because I didn't just follow you, I took a little detour, like a curve around, and so I came from a different direction, you were probably expecting me.